Hi, it's Dr. Elisha Van Dusen at New Hope Chiropractic. Did you know that proper hydration or drinking enough water is crucial to your health? According to the U.S. Geological Survey, about 71% of the Earth's surface is composed of water. 60 to 70% of the average adult human body is composed of water as well. If you're a 120-pound female, you're made of at least 72 pounds or 36 quarts of water. If you're a 175-pound male, you're carrying around at least 105 pounds or 52 to 53 quarts of water. But in either case, that's a lot of liquid. But that water isn't in your body for a ballast. It's actually there to do work. Water provides the medium in which all our physiological processes take place. In other words, water makes life possible. And it makes sense when you consider that the proportion of water on earth and in your body is approximately the same. Water is the conduit that makes things happen. And from the perspective of complex biological organisms, without water, there are no organs, no tissues, and no cells. And if you don't have any cells, you don't have any life. Water is really essential to our survival, but our internal supply of water is always changing. We use up more or less water depending on our activities. Of course, being more physically active causes more water to be consumed than your metabolism, like releasing energy from ATP molecules. Rebuilding ATP supplies requires water as well. Also, your kidneys maintain dynamic control over the amount of water in your blood as one of the primary means of regulating your, your blood pH, which has to be in a very, very narrow range. It has to be between 7.35 and 7.45 for your body to function. Even minor deviations from optimal pH levels can result in symptoms like fatigue, headaches, increased heart rate, uh, muscle pain, and jaundice. Maintaining sufficient water intake is as important a requirement for good health as regular exercise, a good diet, and also getting enough rest. So the question naturally arises, how much water should I actually drink every day? Drinking enough water takes a little bit of effort, but there's a big payoff. And if, in fact, the recommendation to drink more water is possibly the best and most important health advice that you can ever receive. If one is not drinking enough water, any nutritional improvements will have less of an impact. Specifically, the recommended daily intake for adults is 64 ounces of water each day, and this amount is approximately two quarts or half a gallon of water daily. And of course, that varies um, slightly depending on how large a person you are and your physical activity and um, how much you're sweating. So you can never really drink too much water as your kidneys will immediately excrete the excess and get rid of it. But Getting too little water is always a danger. Like hikers, for example, and those living or working at high altitudes know that by the time you feel thirsty or your mouth feels dry, it's really too late. So the solution is to make sure you're hydrated throughout the day. And doing that will help your metabolic processes and overall physiology maintain a steady state. And the result will be increased energy levels all day long and improved long-term health and well-being. So... Hope this helps. Please visit our website, newhopechiropractic.com, and uh, we're always here to help. Have a healthy day.